Okay, this is lesson 8.9. We are writing inequalities today. So example one, the temperature is less than or equal to eight degrees Fahrenheit. So to write that as an inequality, let's use T for temperature is less than or equal, so we use the less than or equal symbol, to eight degrees Fahrenheit. So all we'd write there is T is less than or equal to eight like that. Any questions on how to write that one? You just break down what it says here. So see how we have the temperature is less than or equal, and then there's your eight. So temperature is less than or equal to eight. Do you have to do T or can you do any letter? You could use any letter. I mean, it really doesn't matter. It's just T for temperature makes sense. So. Um, example two, the amount of money is more than $50,000. So we've got the amount of money is more than 50000 So money is more than 50000 And notice when we do, in, in both equations and in inequalities, if we're dealing with something like money, we drop the dollar sign. We leave that off. Any questions on that one? Okay, then example three. Go ahead and write the weight is less than three and a half pounds. Write that down. So right here we have the weight, so we're going to use W for weight, is less than, and then here's our three and a half. It's not very complicated, it's just taking the sentence and putting it in less than, greater than, or equal to. Right, and using variables and numbers there instead of the words. <coughs> Okay, example four, there must be at least 65 police officers on duty. So we have the words at least 65 and police officers. So if it says there must be at least 65, how would we write that one? How many police officers would we have to have? We'd have to have greater than or equal to 65. Very good. Yes. At least means that it could be 65 or we have to have more. So for number five, we're going to write two word sentences for this inequality. So we could say, and we don't have to give anything for n. We can just let it stay in. So we don't need to, we don't have to say anything like the number of people or anything like that. We can just leave it at n. So we could say n is let I forgot the word is is less than or equal to 0 0.3. And that's probably the one that we say. That's the way we probably would typically read it to begin with. Tanner? You change your mind? Now, if you wanted to use another one, so we would use less than or equal, but we could use, we could also say uh, 0 0.3 over n. Actually, I don't know that we'd say the word over, but I don't know that I would use that one, because if, if you use that, would it include the equal part? I don't think so. Let's take mark that one off. Let's not use that one. Because that would only be greater than it wouldn't include it. Um, but we could say, we could say n 
is no more than 0 0.3. Because if you say no more than, the 0 0.3 is still included. It can't be more than 0 0.3. Yeah, at most would work, I would think, also. But typically, what are we gonna, what are you probably going to use most often? If you're writing it, you're probably going to use the first example, right? Yeah. You just need to know how to recognize the others also in case you see those in word problems or different scenarios. Okay, let's go to example six. So this time, if you were looking at this inequality, how would you read that? Typically, we say A is greater than negative 4. That's typically how we would say that, right? Um, it, you might also hear A is more than negative 4. Those, that's usually the terms you're going to hear the most. So either A is greater than negative 4 or A is more than negative 4. Any questions on those? All right, go ahead and turn in your book to page 329. Page 329. <clears throat> Well, just leave it. Don't, don't get up and go put it up yet. Page 329. So, for number one, two, and three, we're going to be writing the inequality for the word sentence. So, for the first one, we have the temperature T is less than negative two degrees Celsius. So, breaking this down, the temperature T, it actually tells us, when it does that, it actually tells us which variable we need to use. We need to use the variable T for temperature is less than, whoop, got off there, is less than, and then here we just use negative 2. We don't have to put degrees Celsius with it. So just T is less than negative 2. And then in that second blank, well, let's see, you've got a few blanks there. What's the first one? Like the the first one would be the less than symbol. That one little box that says what inequality symbol does the phrase is less than indicate, you use the less than symbol. Where that the arrow is pointing to the left. If you think of it like an arrow. Well, and then the inequality is T is less than negative 2, where T is the temperature in degrees Celsius. All right, number two. The elevation E, so they want us to use E for elevation here, is greater than or equal to 15. So E is greater or equal to 15. And then it also wants us to tell what kind of number would E have to be. So if we're talking about elevation and it's going to be greater than 15, E could be what number? It could be any number that's, well, it's going to be positive, right? Because 15 is already a positive number, so there's no way we're going to have a negative number. So 15 would have to be any positive number. It could be 5.5. 16, it could be uh, 16.5, you know, it could be a decimal, it could be a fraction, as long as it's a positive number that's above or equal to or above 15. Does that make sense? Mm -hmm. All right, let's look at number three. A passenger's age, A, so we're using A for age, must be more than 
four years. So it's going to, the, how would we write that? More than would be, like greater than, four. So in this case, what kind of number would we have to have here? The passenger's age must be more than four years. So the number would have to be any, any positive number greater than four. <coughs> any questions on those? Okay, moving on to number four. So this is where we have to write a word sentence for the inequality. Yeah, let me go ahead and pause it. You can go ahead and do four and five and then we'll go over it. Okay, so what did you write for number four? Okay, so B is less than one half. All right, what did you write for number five? M is greater than or equal to 55. Does anybody have a question about how to do this? All right, so what you're going to do is you're going to finish six through nine, bring it to me, let me check it. And then instead of having an exit ticket today, we're going to do practice workbook page 161. And then you'll still turn that in just like you would an exit ticket. Okay? okay.